It's quarterfinal time and we're moving closer to the championship in the chance for the $1,000 prize. In today's match, we have the Huskies of Gould Academy. <music> taking on the Crusaders of John Bass Memorial High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. We're on quarterfinal number two as we move closer towards the semifinals and of course the thousand dollar grand prize. The Huskies of Gould Academy and Bethel made it here by defeating last year's champs Brewer. Season four champions John Bass Memorial defeated season one champs Marshwood to advance to this quarterfinal. The winner of this match will move to the semifinals and take on the winner of our next match, which sees Deering take on Bangor. Let's get things going by meeting the teams. For Gould, we have Jack, Liam, Quinn, and Mary, with alternates Mark and Abby, and coach Adam Leff. And for John Bapps Memorial, we have Jane, Braden, Samantha, and Georgie, with alternates Tessa and Martin, and coached by Jacob Mattis. The competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and of course the lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. Okay, we got that out of the way. Are you guys ready to play? All right, that sounded pretty good. Let's get started here. Here's the first question. The title of a 2003 book by Mo Willems warns, don't let what bird drive the bus? Quinn Gould. Pigeon. Pigeon is correct. Second question. The hardest substance in the human body is what substance that forms the outer covering of a tooth? Quinn again. Enamel. Enamel is right again. In September 2017, Hurricane Maria made landfall in what U.S. territory where it caused nearly $100 billion in damage and led to thousands of deaths? Jane, John Baps. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, yes. What title that comes from the Latin word Caesar was given to emperors of Russia beginning with Ivan the Terrible in 1547? Braden, John Baps. Sar. Sar is right. Next question is a picture question, so please look at the monitor right over here. Name this engineering marvel that spans one of Maine's largest rivers and offers a panoramic view of the area from its 420-foot high observatory. Braden, John Bapst. The Penobscot Narrows Bridge. That is right. A person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of their height in meters is used to determine their BMI. In this context, what does BMI stand for? Liam Gould. Body mass index. Yes. Next question. In Greek mythology, what's the name of the multi-headed hound of Hades that guards the gateway to the underworld? Quinn Gould. Kerberos. That is a correct answer. Next one. What periodic comet that is visible from Earth every 75 years or so is named for the English astronomer who predicted its appearance in 1758? Mary Gould. Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet, yes. Nominated by President Clinton in 1996, Madeleine Albright was the first woman to hold what cabinet position? Uh, we did get it in. Liam Gould. Treasurer. Uh, that's incorrect. Go for it, Braden. Uh, Secretary of State. That's right. Nice job. Here we go. Next question is a video question, so take again a look at that monitor right Hi, there. I'm Congresswoman Shelley Pingree. 
According to the United States Constitution, a candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives must be how old on election day? Braden, John Baps? 25. 25 years old is correct. After a megabyte comes a gigabyte. And after a gigabyte comes what unit of data storage equal to 1,024 gigabytes in binary? Mary Gould. Terabyte? Terabyte is correct. The next question. Since the 19th century, the women of Gee's Bend, Alabama, have been known for their boldly colored, unconventional patterns that, use, that they use in making what traditional textile objects? Jack Gould. Quilts. Quilts is correct. Next question. On Christmas Day in 1776, George Washington led his troops across what river on their way to Trenton? Georgie John Bapst. Delaware. Delaware is right. Which of these animals has body parts called a carapace and a pastron, a hawk, a frog, or a turtle? Quinn Gould. Turtle. Turtle is correct. On to the next question, and this happens to be a math question, so you got pencils and you got paper there. In whole numbers, what's the radius of a circle that is a circumference of 31.4 inches? Uh, Samantha, John Baps? Is it five? Five, we'll take it. Five inches, yes. All right, next question. We move on. Big Mama Thornton, Sonny Boy Williamson, and Toots Thielmans are known for playing what pocket size reed instrument that produces both blow notes and draw notes? Liam Gould. Piccolo. Piccolo, incorrect. John Baps, do you want to go for it? Let's Harmonica? see. Uh, Jane, yes. Harmonica? Harmonica is right. A librarian classification system in which books are shelved by subject with psychology in the 100 section and history in the 900 section is named for what man who introduced it in the 1870s? Georgie. Dewey. Dewey is correct. The Mohawk, Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Seneca were the original nations of what indigenous American confederacy? The Tuscarora joined later. Quinn Gould. Iroquois. Iroquois is right. On Patriots Day in 1967, Catherine Switzer became the first woman to officially compete in what sporting event, even though event organizers tried to make her quit before she reached the end? Braden, John Bapst. The Boston Marathon. That is right. Next question. Which U.S. state has by far the most wind turbine capacity and generates the most electricity from wind? California, Minnesota, or Texas? Georgie. Texas. Texas is right. The Palm d'Or, or Golden Palm, is the top prize awarded at what annual film festival in the south of France? Uh, Samantha, John Bapst. The Cannes. Yes, Cannes Film Festival. Uh, what name for a te uh, technophobic person comes from 19th century textile workers who were afraid that industrial machines would put them out of work? Go ahead, Quinn. Luddite. Luddite is right. The historic city of Timbuktu is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in what African country? Liam Gould. Molly. Molly is right. Another math question. Get ready. Here is the question. Quinn earned $75 in a week, spent $60, and saved the rest. What percent of that income did Quinn save? Uh, Samantha John Bapst. 20%. 20%. Nice job. Next question. The primary international airport that serves Cincinnati, Ohio, isn't in Ohio. It's in what state across the Ohio River from Cincinnati? Braden? Kentucky. Kentucky, that's right. Here's the next question. T.S. Eliot's play, Murder in the Cathedral, is based on the story of what archbishop who was murdered in Canterbury Cathedral in 1170? Quinn Gould. Thomas Beckett of Canterbury. Nice job. Next question. Imagine Peace Tower in Iceland is an outdoor work of art created by what avant-garde uh, artist in memory of her husband, John Lennon? Yoko yeah. Ono. Yoko Ono is correct. And that is the end of round one. We have a score of Gould 130, John Bapst 140. Ooh, we've got a really good battle here. So it's off to a great start. Lots more to come. We'll be back to meet the players right after this. 
Welcome back to the match. Before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a slightly silly question, which this evening is, what movie could star you and your team members? You're going to challenge my knowledge of movies. I'm not great with them. So let's see how many of you guys stump me on. We'll start with Jack and Gould. Uh, the Hangover. The Hangover? Yeah. Uh, why? Uh, <laughs> uh, Is there something you should be telling us, Jack? I'm no, no. Nah. <laughs> Actually, awesome yeah. movie. Big fan of it. We'll move on to Liam. What do you got for us? I'd say uh, Forrest Gump. Where's Gump? Solid cast, you know. We got, we got a awesome solid, cast. solid cast here, you know. We can really make that happen. Yeah, yeah. You big fan of shrimp? <laughs> I mean, if it's from down south, then yeah. But up here, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Uh, Quinn, what do you have um, for us? The bird cage. The bird cage. Why? Be funny. It'd be funny. It would be funny. Uh, yep, true. Mary, you want to wrap up Goulds? Um, I'm going to say The Breakfast Club because I like that oh, movie. Oh, man, that's a classic from my generation. How do you even know that, Mary? Uh, I have good taste. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, let's move down to John Baps. Go ahead, Jane. Um, probably Inside Out. We, we just kind of chaotically work together. Inside Out. I'm not familiar uh, with that never, one. It's like the best Pixar movie. Oh, so that's why. It's like if emotions <laughs> had... Once my emotions. kids got to be teenagers, I stopped watching <laughs> those kind of movies. Thank you, Jane. Uh, Brayden, go ahead. Uh, I would probably say grown-ups because we're all pretty foolish. Yeah, yeah, we all are, aren't we? And we're not getting any, any wiser, are we? Um, Samantha, go for it. Um, I'd say The Incredibles because we're all pretty different, but we have our own unique skills. Yeah, like superpowers <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Samantha. Georgie. I'm going to go with Madagascar. We would all be the penguins, I think. <laughs> Are you a fan of penguins? Um, I've been told that I have more capacity than other people to look like a penguin, and I have no <laughs> idea what to do with that information. Oh, well, that's too bad, because I was about to ask you, please, you know, show us how. Oh, so you I got think, off the hook I there think, big no. time, Georgie. Thank you very much. All right, the category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Paul Riley from Safety Insurance, and this is your main question of the week. What do the following have in common? The Blue Ox, the Cupids, the Orphans, and the Millionaires. We'll have the answer later in the show. We are back and we've got a battle. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Suffragette City, famous for 15 minutes, Let's Dance, Space Oddities, We Could Be Heroes, and Station to Station. Questions have increasing point values and wrong answers will cost you. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to answer. They can choose to skip if they don't want to take a chance on a wrong answer. Or, once per category, they can toss and force the other team to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. All right, uh, Gould, you are behind. So you get choice of the board. What would be the first category? Space oddities. Space oddities, all right. Space oddities for 10. These are questions about unusual things in space. Here we go. The Latin word for cloud or mist gives us what name for a giant cloud of space dust and gas where stars may die and new stars may form? Nebula. Nebula. Nebula is right. Good job. Here we go with the second question. Space oddities for 15. The fast spinning egg shaped dwarf planet Haumea is an unusual object in what donut-shaped belt where comets form? Kuiper. Kuiper belt. Kuiper belt is correct. Space oddity is 20. A moon with a retrograde orbit is an oddity because it orbits its planet in the opposite direction of that planet's rotation. In our solar system, the most prominent moon with a retrograde orbit is Triton, the largest moon of what planet? Neptune. 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 Neptune is right. Space oddities for 25. Slightly more than 25% of the universe is made up of what kind of matter that does not emit light or electromagnetic radiation and can only be detected by its gravitational effect on other matter? Dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter is right. The last one in space oddities for 30. A, B, C, M, and X are classes of what space weather events whose release of electromagnetic energy can disrupt radio communications, power grids, and navigation systems on Earth and in space? Solar flare. Solar flare? 
Solar Flare. Solar Flare is right. Great job in Space Oddities category. We go over to John Bapst. Now for your first category, you're going to choose what? Station to Station. Station to Station. These are questions about train journeys. Train journeys, and this is for 10. One of the world's oldest underground train networks opened in 1896 in which city that is the capital of Hungary? Budapest. Budapest is right. Station to station for 15. If you start your journey on Rocky Mountaineer Railway in Vancouver, British Columbia, the train heads east to Banff or to Jasper in which Canadian province? Alberta. Alberta is right. Eurostar trains that connect London to Paris travel through a tunnel that runs for two, 23 and a half miles beneath what body of water? The English Channel. English Channel is also right. Station to station for 25. The first countrywide rail system in Latin America opened in 1837, mainly to serve the sugar industry on what large Spanish-speaking Caribbean island? You'll have to either answer, skip, or toss. I'll need something. Cuba. Wow, you answered and you got it right. Nice job. Station to station for 30. I didn't see that coming, I gotta be honest. Station to station for 30. In what decade of the 20th century did the Tokaido Shinkansen high-speed train make its first official trip from Tokyo to Osaka? We're going to skip that. You're going to skip it. Okay. The answer is the 1960s. The 1960s. All right. That's the end of the station to station category. Gould, your second category will be? Uh, uh, can we do We Could Be Heroes? You can. We Could Be Heroes for 10. These are questions about Greek mythology. Oh. Is that yes. good or bad? Awesome. Oh, awesome. We'll see about that. Here's the 10 point question. On his quest to capture the Golden Fleece, Jason was accompanied by 50 heroes traveling on what ship? Argo. Argo. Argo is right. We could be heroes 15. Hoping to make him immortal, Thetis dunked Achilles into what river when he was a baby? Unfortunately, she missed a part. Sticks. The river sticks. The river sticks is correct. We could be heroes for 20. Among his many labors, Hercules was told to steal what precious fruit that belonged to Hera and was guarded by Hesperides. Golden apple. Golden apple? You got it. Golden apple. We could be heroes. 25. Bellerophon fought and defeated what fire-breathing beast that was part lion, part goat, and part serpent? Chimera. Chimera. Chimera, also correct. And the last one in We Could Be Heroes. Theseus found his way into the labyrinth to kill the Minotaur. What princess helped him find his way out again? Ariadne. Ariadne is right. Well done. You guys were correct. You knew that category. We go back to John Bapst. Your second category will be? Famous for 15 minutes. Famous for 15 minutes. These are questions related to Andy Warhol, who said everyone would be famous for 15 minutes. This one's for 10 points. Andy Warhol grew up in what city whose pro sports teams include the Pirates, the Penguins, and the Steelers? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is correct. Famous for 15 minutes for 15. In the early 1970s, Andy Warhol made about 200 portraits of what political leader who led the Cultural Revolution in China? Mao. Mao is right. Good job. Famous for 15 minutes for 20. In his abstract art, Andy Warhol applied uric acid to copper plates in order to change their color. The acid was a catalyst for what kind of chemical reaction in which the copper gave up an electron? Oxidation. Oxidation is right. Famous for 15 minutes for 25. In the 1980s, Andy Warhol collaborated on a few paintings with what New York City painter and graffiti artist who sometimes went by the name Samo? Okay, we're going to skip this. You're going to skip that. Okay, the answer is Basquiat. Basquiat. Uh, famous for 15 minutes for 30. Last question. 
Ground Control to Major Tom is the first line of a song called Space Oddity by what multi-talented British singer who also recorded a song called Andy Warhol and portrayed Andy Warhol on screen? Bowie. Bowie is right. David Bowie. All right, that wraps up the category round. We've got a great match here. Gould, 330. John Bapst. 285. Everything can and probably will change in the lightning round, so sit tight. We're right back. How did you do with this week's question? What do the following have in common? The blue ox, the cupids, the orphans, and the millionaires. The answer is, they are all names of minor league baseball teams in Maine. They were the Bangor Blue Ox, the Lewiston Cupids, the Biddeford Orphans, and the Bangor Millionaires. Okay, we're back and we're heading into the final 90 seconds of game play, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in anytime, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20, and the other team does not get the chance to answer. The clock is set. Good luck. Here we go. In the Peanuts comic strip, what's the name of Charlie Brown's pet beagle? Uh, Mary Gould. Snoopy. Snoopy, yes. What very long bone connects the hip to the knee? Mary again. Femur. Yes. What is the literal English translation of the French term Mardi Gras? Braden. Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday, yes. Buffalo, New York, and Cleveland, Ohio are on which of the Great Lakes? Braden again. Erie. Yes, again. In NASCAR, waving what flag is the signal that a race is over? Braden. The checkered flag. Checkered flag. A type of hot pepper shares its name with what city that is the capital of French Guyana? Uh, Mary Gould. Cayenne. Cayenne, yes. Things Fall Apart is a 1959 novel by what Nigerian author? Achebe. Next question. In a Beatles life cycle, what transition stage comes between larva and adult? Pupa. Quinn, pupa is correct. What Mexican general defeated the Texans at the Alamo? Santa Ana. The Strait of Malacca links the Indian Ocean with what other ocean? Uh, Quinn, Gould. Pacific Ocean. Pacific, yes. What Celtic queen led a revolt against the Romans in ancient Britain? Boudicca. In the 1908 novel, Anne of Green Gables, what is Anne's last name? Uh, we did get it in, Mary Gould. Cuthbert. That is incorrect. It is Shirley. Shirley is the right answer. And that is the end of our round. Gould. 4-10 is our new winning team for the week. Wow, final score. And they will be moving on to the semifinals. Our runner-up, John Baps, 345. Thank you for playing and congratulations to both teams. You guys were great. Be sure to tune in next time as Deering takes on Bangor in quarter final number three. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.